What is going on YouTube? It is your girl, Nurse D. Lachelle, and I am back with another video after two years. That's all, you know, just a little short period of time. I've been MIA, <laughs> but uh, I've been MIA for a lot of good reasons, right? So, and I'll get into that later, but uh, if this is your first time, tuning into my channel or watching my video. Maybe I popped up by chance, um, even though I don't believe anything happens by chance. Uh, I do wanna say thank you for watching or just taking the time to, to tune in. Um, previously, I had you know started a YouTube channel that was dedicated to my journey um, of becoming a, I've already been an RN for like eight years now, going on nine. Um, but my channel previously was about my journey to becoming a psych nurse practitioner. Um, so that's been on pause because a lot of other things have been going on. Um, uh, and I'll get into that, but I just wanted to say I'm back. I am back. I'm excited. Can you tell? Hopefully you can tell. <laughs> um, but no, I just wanted to um, basically kind of reintroduce myself. And, um, you know, I started my page talking about being a psych nurse practitioner in that whole journey. Uh, like I said, that is now on pause um, because a lot of life changes has been happening, you know, and even with the world, you guys know, I mean, you know, a whole, hate to say it, pandemic has happened, uh, coronavirus, vaccine, you know, just all this stuff, whole, you know, election, all of this craziness has been going on. Uh, but hopefully you guys have been still doing great, maintaining and progressing throughout um, these life changes, uh, world changes, uh, and have come out even stronger. So, I, like I said, I've been a nurse now for eight years and I first gained my experience in the nursing world in the cardiac surgery ICU as a new grad. That was crazy, uh, but I learned a wealth of knowledge by starting off in the ICU. Uh, from there, very briefly, went into telemetry nursing, learned about so many other disease processes, interventions, treatments, um, and I gained that experience, and then I went off to do travel nursing. So did some travel nursing for about two years, and then uh, also did disaster nursing. Uh, I lived in Houston for a little while. Uh, and I got the opportunity to be a disaster nurse when Hurricane Harvey had hit. Um, and I was one of the relief nurses um, for the nurses that had gotten stuck in the hospital for weeks at a time, taking care of patients, barely getting sleep. Um, and so it was a blessing to be able to be called upon to, to, uh, help, to help out and to experience that. Um, then eventually came back to my hometown. I did some local agency work. Um, also psych nursing, experienced that. That's what really got me, you know, wanting to um, pursue my psych MP degree and get licensed for it. Uh, also home health nursing uh, and also hospice nursing. So I've gotten some experience in the hospital, also have gotten some experience um, in the field being a nurse as well. So I got a little experience in the game, a little skin in the game, you know, and, uh, and I've been blessed to be able to do that. Um, and there's so many more avenues that you can go into with nursing. Um, so if you ever get bored, if that is your personality, you like to switch things up, try different things, you know, just kind of keep that flow going and, and always loving to learn, then like nursing, if you're already in it or thinking about it, is definitely a great choice, right? Um, so definitely, I do want to continue my page on nursing, um, but also on the other topics that I have now, you know, walked into in life. Like back in 2019, um, I met a man. Yes, I met a man. And we got engaged in like 10 or 11 months after dating. Uh, when a man knows, he knows, okay? You don't have to question it. You don't have to wonder. You don't have to talk to your girlfriends about it. When a man knows that you are the one and he wants you, you'll know. Because um, he will be very persistent. 
Uh, <laughs> and so at least that was my experience. And then, uh, so we got engaged, we got married last year during the pandemic. So, you know, I had a whole pandemic wedding. That was crazy. That's a whole nother topic to talk about for sure. Um, and then very shortly after we got married, we found out that we were becoming parents. So my thing at the time was, I'm supposed to be learning how to be like an amazing wife, but now I'm learning what to do during the first trimester, you know? And I was excited and confused and like just so many thoughts and emotions ran through my mind, I can't even lie. But it's been such a beautiful blessing. So I am currently uh, back to work. So I am working as a hospice nurse. Um, I used to do hospice case management and now I am a on-call hospice nurse. Um, and it's been super clutch. And I, I will talk about that. Um, but so hospice on-call, also a new mom, a new wife. And I mean, you know, it's been crazy. It has been crazy. The emotional roller coaster is there. I'm not even gonna act like it's been just all, you know, peaches and cream and cloud nine and just unicorns and glitter. It has been a ride, okay? Um, being newlyweds and also being new parents. Uh, we are also business partners together. You know, we both are still working currently uh, full time. So it has been uh, a journey. It's been a lot of adjusting, you know, um, but now that a lot of the adjusting has kind of settled and we've gotten into more of a routine, I guess I could say, um, now I found a time to make a video to get back to my YouTube channel. So I'm super, super, super excited to be here. Um, that is one of the things that I want to now incorporate or add into my channel is I'm not gonna stray away from nursing life. I wanna talk about nursing. I wanna talk about different aspects of nursing. I wanna talk about my experience of nursing. If you guys have any questions or you know topics that you would like to be covered about nursing, nursing school, maybe you're thinking about nursing or whatever it is, let me know. That's where you like, subscribe, and you comment, right? Let me know. And then also uh, about new mom life, you know, baby girl. I had a baby girl. She is, and she is just so precious. Like she was, she was a preemie. She was born two months early. Um, I was in the hospital, had ended up having an emergency C-section. I ended up delivering her at 32 weeks and she was in the NICU, you know. So I did experience being a preemie mom, a NICU mom. Um, and then, you know, during that time of, uh, being discharged from the hospital while my baby is still there was like super traumatic. It, 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 it was a traumatic, stressful experience. Um, but we, every day we're going back and forth to the hospital to visit her in the NICU and she was progressing every day. You know, she stayed there for about 26 days. She's home now. She's growing. She's happy. She's healthy. Um, and we're just enjoying every single moment. Um, so I'm super blessed to be able to say that. Also, oh my goodness, I guess I'm gonna try to get my husband on here one day. You know, he, my husband is, he is the complete opposite of me. I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Right. So he is very nerdy, intelligent. He is very just astute on so many different topics. And I love that because I have dated people in the past where, you know, I guess the best way to say it is we were on two different vibrations, right? They were, I felt like they were on a little bit lower vibration than I was uh, in life and where I wanted to go. And just as far as like my vision, um, and, you know, so I would talk about the things that I was reading or that I was, you know, listening to on different podcasts or audios or just plans for the future. And they would kind of look at me like a deer in headlights. So I knew that wasn't going to work. 
Um, so when I met my husband now and he's just been such a wealth of knowledge, like I love the fact that I'm able to learn from him. Uh, we're also, like I said, we're business partners. So the fact that if you could be business partners or like you can start something together and have a successful, a successful marriage, I think that is a beautiful thing, right? Uh, but we also are able to have fun together too. And we're both working. We had, when we first met, we knew that we had similar goals as far as our paths in life and where we wanted to be, where we wanted to go, where we seen ourselves. Um, so it was almost like an instant connection. So with that being said, hopefully I can get him to record and do a video with me one day so you guys can get a chance to meet him. Uh, also with baby girl, um, you know, I do want to post like more mom videos and like newborn videos. Uh, it's almost time for me to start making her food. Unbelievable. Um, but I do plan on sticking to a more organic, you know, maybe plant-based diet. We're still doing research on that to see if that is the best option for our family. Um, but as for now, it's undecided, but that's kind of what we're leaning more towards. So um, anyway, just wanted to say that. And also, you know, just maybe even content on marriage and dating uh, and being, you know, being married and being business partners together, being entrepreneurs, like, you know, there's so many things that I could talk about, right? And so I guess if you guys just stay tuned, I guess you'll find out what the content will be about. And if there's anything that you want to know based off of anything that I've said today, let me know. Just uh, comment, you know, like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, and that's really the end of this video. I just wanted to do like a reintroduction because it's been so long um, and so many good things and crazy things have happened. Um, but I will be seeing you guys soon. And until then, if you can't be good at it, at least be a great example, right? And just take that however you want it. <laughs> All right, guys, till next time.